Hello YouTube! Thought I'd do a quick video on, uh, I've been asked about repeater identification and I'm going to show you today how to do it for free using this, the repeater software I've done videos on. There's a setting in there that you can you can turn on to do this. Um, but first thing is first, I want to also mention according to what I read and how I understand it, this is not required for a GMRS repeater. And that is because the users who are using the repeater are supposed to identify themselves anyways. So the repeater owner is not required to do this, if I understand this correctly. I am going to post a Reddit thread in the description about this. And I have part of it on the screen now, right here. So I'll post that in the description. I'm also going to post all the links to the software that I have in this video. It's all free. Um, so I'll post all those links too in the description below. So I want to get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Now, there is two ways you can do this. Let's start with this one right here. Now, you can either ID it with a... ID your repeater with a pre-recorded voice. You can use your voice, you can use a computer voice. It doesn't matter as long as it's in English and it has your call sign in it. So what I you have here is I have some free software and I'll post a link down below that you can record your own voice and save it as a WAV file. Um, it's real simple to do. You hit the record button. When you hit stop, it's going to ask you. You can select where you want to be saved at before you do the recording and, and the name of the file. So it's real simple. Hit record, hit stop. There's your WAV file. Make sure you save it in a folder where you know what's at. So that's one way of doing this. We're going to minimize this. The other way is using Morse code. Now, here's a free software. Now, when you punch in your call sign, it's going to convert it into Morse code. Once you get it punched in, this one you see on the screen, I just made up, by the way. But once you get it punched in, you go to Tools. Then you go Record Text Box as a WAV file. You hit OK. You hit OK on this. Then you select where you want it, the name of it. Hit Save. I'm not going to do that because I already did this. So we're going to hit cancel, but you save it to where you want it to be at. Okay? So now you go to the repeater software. Now all you got to do is you go under configurations, beacon text, select that one. Check the box to activate. Select how many minutes you want. Select the file, the sound file whether it's Morse code or your pre-recorded uh, you can select that hit browse select it I just picked an example here okay hit open you can hit test you hit OK once you hit OK it says right here that it's on and now every 15 minutes it should um, transmit this now if you want you can also go to mode simplex repeater and change this wait for the channel wait for a free channel to play and the reason being you might want to change that is because if by chance uh, it's transmitting the your call sign and someone keys up um, it will wait to replay these the file the sound back so you might want to do that now I have it set up and if you can hear that I got my handheld. That my actual repeater software is on another computer over there, which is programmed to connect to the repeater. And I have mine set for the Morse code, the call sign of Morse code. And as you can maybe hear it or not, I got it set to do every minute just for this video, so that you can actually hear how it sounds. And I'll I'll put the microphone next to the um, radio here once it starts going but like I said 
It's that's all you got to do. There's two different ways you can make it. You can either do a pre-recorded one using your voice. There's also websites out there that you can use a, a, a different, you know, like a computer voice if you don't want to use your voice, um, or just do the Morse code one. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, when I, oh, there it goes. So, as you can hear, I did the Morse code file. Let me turn this down. And I got it set for every minute just because for this video I wanted to demonstrate it does work. Like I said, I have the actual uh, laptop that's running the repeater software over there. And that is hooked to a handheld. I've got videos on, on, on my uh, YouTube ch uh, channel that show how to hook this up. And so I don't, I'm not going to go into detail with that now. But that's how you do it. So it's that simple. Just make sure when you do this, you select activate here, select your time, and select what sound file you want. And uh, it seems to work really good. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you.